So if you ever felt like you have a lot to declutter, but you just don't have a whole lot of time, well today we're gonna to talk about decluttering your spaces in less than 10 minutes. My name is Claudia and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. I make videos about decluttering and organizing your space so it can become a space that you enjoy living in while doing it on an affordable budget of less than $100. So if you like that kind of content, then stick around. I have about 20 spaces you can work on for about 10 minutes to just get the decluttering process started. So the first place we're gonna start with is under bed storage. So I have two bins that I have slid underneath the bed and I usually use those bins for extra supplies for like art projects or things that I work with with when I have younger kids over, it just gives them some things to work with, but they become a little bit too full. So I need to go through those and just purge them and get rid of a lot of the stuff that's in there and make them a lot more manageable. Ideally, I can bring it down to just one bin, but we'll see. The next thing I want to talk about are towels. I have a lot of towels, not an excessive amount of towels. I have towels in all my bathrooms, but then I have this extra set of towels. And I went to a garage sale about a month ago and I saw these white towels. So I figured you can always have white towels. In reality, I didn't really need extra white towels, but I bought them anyway. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the white towels and give some to my husband because he's always cleaning our cars. And then the burgundy ones that I have, I'm going to get rid of those because I don't really need them in my house. The beach towels that I have, I'm going to store those away in the guest closet and I think that will work. The next area I'm going to talk about are sheets. So you really only need two sets of sheets, one on the bed and one that you use when you're changing your linen. So right now I have that, I have two sets in each bedroom but I have all these extra pillowcases. I actually don't know how I came up with so many extra pillowcases. So I'm gonna pare those down so that I can only have just what I need. And I don't use colored pillowcases, so those can go. I don't know if you're like me, but my nightstand seems to collect clutter. I think it's because I put things on top and before I go to bed, I don't like to see that stuff on top, so I just kind of shove it in the drawer. I'm generally organized, but I can tell you that's been my process. And what has happened is I have all this stuff in this drawer and I don't even use it for my nighttime routine. So I need to go through that drawer and go through everything that's in that drawer and just pare down the things I actually use when I go to bed at night. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. Do you have a deep freezer? I have a deep freezer and I have another refrigerator in the garage. Seems excessive for a family of three. And initially when I bought that, there were actually four of us living in the house. So I was buying a lot of excess food or I was buying at least enough food for four people. Now my son had still at home. He, you know, eats out with his friends because he has rehearsals and everything. So he's not home all the time. And then my husband works out in the field. So he eats out a lot. So now I have these three refrigerated areas. I technically don't need all three, but I'm going to go through my deep freezer because a deep freezer can just become a bottomless hole. So I'm going to go through those things and see if those are things that I'm actually going to eat. And if I don't, I can give them to my mother or I can give them to my sister. So we're going to go through that area also. My medicine cabinet is usually just a bucket. That's where I keep the things like the antacids and just the regular over-the-counter medicines. And I go through that on a regular basis. But my husband has a medicine cabinet and that cabinet can be overwhelming because he keeps a lot of medicine in there. I don't even know what's in there, but I'm gonna go through that and make sure the things that he has in there are things that he actually uses. So I love audiobooks, and primarily those are the books I listen to when I'm in the car, when I'm working around the house, but I still have a collection of books that I really need to go through. I love the feel of opening up a book and reading words on pages, but I hardly ever do that. Every now and then I might recommend a book to someone and when I do that, I will loan them the book. But for the most part, I don't really go through those books. And some of them have been read so many times that they're kind of tattered. Those need to go. So I'm gonna take some time and go through those books and get rid of the ones I don't read anymore. 
So I have cleaning supplies that I keep in the kitchen and I also have cleaning supplies I keep in each of my bathrooms. But I need to make sure that the cleaning supplies that I have are only the ones that I need. I have a couple that have the same cleaning agents in them and they're together in the same space so I know they shouldn't be there. So I need to go through each place in my house and make sure that the cleaning supplies I have in there are actually the things that I'm going to use in that space. I have makeup. I wouldn't say I have a lot of makeup, but I have makeup. But there are only a few things I use on a daily basis, and they're all mixed in with the same things that I use like when I have to do something really fancy, like go out on the weekends. But I rarely use those things. In addition to that, I have extra brushes in there that I believe I'm going to use when my other ones go bad. I don't know, I'm not even sure if I like this set. Either way, I'm gonna take 10 minutes and go through all my makeup and make sure that those are the things in there that I'm actually going to use. Okay, so tell me if you're like me, do you buy a new conditioner because it seems like it's a good idea? You know, you're in the beauty supply store and it says deep conditioner with all these wonderful oils in there and you think, oh, I need this. Okay, I'm guilty as charged. I have bought things like that and as a result, I have way too many deep conditioners and I probably have about six shampoos for the same purpose and I don't need all these shampoos and conditioners. I'm going to go through those and take out only the things that I really use and that I like. I like the smell, I like the way they work, and everything else I'm going to donate to my sister because she's still trying to get her, her hair regimen together and maybe something that I have will work for her. So I used to work in an office and when I worked in an office I always had a surplus of office supplies. But I don't work in an office like that anymore and for some reason I have a lot of office supplies. I have extra highlighters and markers and pencils and just way too many office supplies. I need to go through those, take out the things that I normally use and everything else can be donated. I love baseball caps. I do. I used to wear them all the time, especially when my hair was longer. But now I literally only put on a baseball cap if I'm running out to the store or I'm running to take my, my son to school and I just don't want to do the whole hair thing. You know what I mean. However, I have about 10 caps and I already know. I pretty much only wear a black cap or a white cap. Anything in between, I never put them on. I never put them on. So I'm going to go through those and take out the ones that I don't need and give them to someone that can actually use them. I do have a pink Laker cap that I actually love, even though I have never, ever worn it. But it's, it's just really cute. So I might just hang on to that one just because, just because. My husband, on the other hand, has several caps and he wears a cap every day. But guess what? He only wears the same couple of caps every day. All the other ones, they just sit there. They just sit there. He doesn't wear them. But I'm going to let him go through those and let him decide which ones he wants to keep and which ones he wants to give away. I had a lot of pet supplies and I really had to go through those and it took more than 10 minutes. However, on a regular basis, I know I need to stay on top of that because I'm still always buying things for my, for my dog and I need to make sure that I'm not just collecting so many things that I get back to where I was before. Are you someone that wears scarves? I'm not someone that wears scarves. I have several bandanas and I have pretty scarves. However, Mm, it's just not really my thing. I thought it was going to be my thing, so I was collecting them. Now I have this bag of scarves and bandanas that I just leave in this bag. In 10 minutes, I know I can go through all those scarves and reduce it to definitely less than half. So I'm going to take care of those and just get rid of the ones that I know I'm never going to wear. So recently I did a video about how I converted my guest bedroom into an exercise room. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put the link to that up top and you can check that out. But during that process, I moved a big, huge black file cabinet into my exercise room. It has a lot of files in there that I don't know what's in all those files. So I need to take 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes once a week, if not every day, go through those files and get rid of the ones that I don't need. It's excess paper. I have a shredder, so it's time to start shredding and cut down those papers. I have so many files in there that when I'm pulling them out, I can barely even take them out of the file cabinet. That's too much. It needs to be cut down. So, you know, every now and then I watch a video and they tell you all the things you can do with a jar. And they seem like great ideas and useful ideas, but here's what's happened to me. 
I just have been collecting jars and I rarely use jars. I only use them if I'm going to get rid of some oil that I've cooked with or every now and then I have a nice mason jar and I'll keep that. But short of that, I don't need a lot of jars because I don't cook a lot of things that use a lot of oil. So right now I have too many. I'm gonna cut that down to about two or three. That should be all that I need and get rid of the ones that I don't. Who doesn't like a nice coffee cup? I like a nice coffee cup, especially one that means something when I read the words on it, but I don't need a whole lot of them. I have four that I keep right next to my coffee maker where I can pull down and use when I'm gonna make some coffee and pretty much we use it 90% of the time. With that in mind, all the other ones that I have, I don't need them. So what I'm gonna do is just take out four and I'm gonna make sure that they're matching four that I really like and I'm just going to keep those every now and then to use when I just want to have just a specialty cup to, that represents something that I feel for that day. So I'm going to take care of that and get rid of the ones that I don't need. So I, I'm really into making sure that my house smells good. So what I've done is I've started using oils and I love the smell of oils but with anything you can end up with way too many so right now i have some oil plugins and i have oil that i can put in a diffuser and some of the scents i'm not a fan of so i really need to get rid of the ones that i don't like and just keep the ones that i do can you say messy purse i don't know why i cannot seem to keep my purse together i think i'll probably make a video about that let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see a purse organization video because it's time I get my purses organized. And when I say my purses, I mean what's inside the purses. You know how it can be sometimes. You'll have receipts, you'll have gum that has fallen out of the package, you'll have a wallet, just a conglomeration of stuff that has just ended up in your purse. I'm at that stage right now. So I'm gonna work on my purse. You'll probably see a video for that coming up soon. The last thing on my list are the pictures on my phone so I take pictures of everything I take pictures of course for my YouTube channel but I also have pictures of my family and friends and things like that but then there are those pictures that are in between like I'm shopping at a store and I take a picture of the price or or I take a picture of the item and I send it to my husband or my sister or someone or a piece of fruit or food that I have on my phone that it was great for the moment but I don't need it now so I need to go through my phone and of the thousands of pictures that I have, I need to take 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes a day, and just go through those also and get rid of some of those excess pictures. So there are lots of things you can do in just 10 minutes or less. I hope that some of the things that I mentioned in this video can help you get started on your decluttering process. If you like what you saw today, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out my channel a lot and I would love for you to become part of my family. And until I meet with you again next time, hugs and love. Bye.